What's up everybody, this is Jake from Bricks and Bros and today I have a special one for you. I'm going to be highlighting my 10 favorite Lego Star Wars sets. So let's get right into it at number 10. At number 10, I have the 2014 Sandcrawler, set number 75059 and this baby has 3,296 pieces. I absolutely love all the colors, love the minifigures, and this set has some of the best play features on any Lego Star Wars set ever. At number nine on my 10 favorite Lego Star Wars sets list is the 2023 UCS Venator. This is set number 75367 and it has 5,374 pieces. And honestly, the only reason that it's not higher on this list is I would have liked to have gotten like some clone troopers or some more minifigures, or possibly even had like an interior on this ship. At number eight on the list, we have the 2017 UCS Star Destroyer. This is set number 75252, and it has 4,784 pieces. And you might be wondering why I'm up here instead of bringing these sets down. It's because the Venator and the Star Destroyer are a pain in the butt to bring up and down from the top of the shelves down to our desk. So I just leave them up here and give you guys all the good angles of those beautiful ships. I also love the Tiscale Tantive 4 on this set. And the reason I rank it above the Venator is because honestly, I love the bigger, bulkier profile. And I'm just a big fan of the bad guy ships in Star Wars. I don't think a Venator is ever beating a Star Destroyer. So yeah, that's why I rank it higher than the Venator and that's why the UCS Star Destroyer comes in at number eight on my list. At number seven on my list, I have set number 75191, the 2017 Jedi Starfighter with hyperdrive. I still have this one in the box because honestly I'm debating if it looks better built or if it looks cleaner and cooler to have sealed in the box. Personally, lots of these like smaller sets that aren't like substantial in size. This one has 825 pieces, so it's not too massive. I would love to build it, but it's super valuable sealed in the box. So I think for the time being, I'm going to leave it in the box. Some of my favorite things about this set are obviously the hyperdrive, but I love the Attack of the Clones Obi-Wan Kenobi minifigure as well as the Jango Fett minifigure. This is the only Jango Fett minifigure that I have in my Lego Star Wars collection. And you also get a baby Boba Fett minifigure. At number six on my list, I have set number 75313, the 2021 UCS ATAT. -AT. This thing has 6,785 pieces and it is absolutely massive. And yes, I do display it with one of the panels removed so that you can see into the interior because one of my favorite things on these bigger UCS sets is when they have detailed interiors like this UCS ATAT. -AT. I like being able to show to people that come in the Lego room the cool storage that some of these ships have for like minifigures or speeder bikes or weaponry or whatever. So that's one of my favorite things about the UCS ATAT. -AT. And it's just an incredible display. I mean, this thing is absolutely massive. But yeah, when you get into the interior, you can really see how you can store like the ATAT -AT pilots and snow troopers and different things. And the interior of this set is just super clean. And Lego did a really good job with this, making it like a really cool display set with a really cool interior. And that's why it comes in at number six on my favorite Lego Star Wars sets list. At number five on the list, I have set number 7141 at 174 pieces. This is the 1999 Lego Star Wars Naboo Fighter. Definitely the oldest Lego Star Wars set in our collection. I believe it's like the second or third Lego Star Wars set ever. So it ranks that high on my list just because of how old it is and how little people will have this in their collection. I also love the baby Anakin minifigure. That's one of my favorite parts from this set. And 
Just how old and rare it is, that's what puts it at number five on my all-time greatest LEGO Star Wars sets ever list. Absolutely love having this in the collection. Definitely going to leave it sealed in the box because I think it looks better sealed in the box than built. So, yep, that's number five on the list. Number four on this list is Ewok Village from 2013. This is set number 10236 and it has 1,990 pieces. I have actually never built this set before. Kenny and I are planning on building it very soon. It might even go higher on my favorite Lego Star Wars sets list, but for right now it's at number four. Kenny and I will be building it very soon and then we can give you guys a proper review of how we feel about this set. But as far as the YouTube that we've watched on it and hearing other people's thoughts when they build it and just reading different Lego articles, everybody has this in their top 10 ranked very highly. So I do not think that it's gonna disappoint. Cracking number three on my favorite Lego Star Wars sets of all time list is the 2017 Millennium Falcon. This Millennium Falcon is set number 75192 and it has 7,541 pieces. I don't feel like you can have a top 10 greatest LEGO Star Wars sets of all time list without having a Millennium Falcon in there. And I have built a couple others of the UCS Millennium Falcons, but this is definitely my favorite one. I know it's the newest, but this one's the best looking to me. And I also believe that it has the best minifigure selection. I like how they made it so that it could be the original trilogy Millennium Falcon as well as the sequel trilogy Millennium Falcon. And there's just a bunch of cool interior details on this set like Chewbacca's game table, the cockpit. So yeah, this is gonna be number three on my favorite Lego Star Wars sets list of all time. At number two on this list is the UCS Super Star Destroyer from 2011. This is set number 10221 and it has 3,152 pieces. I do have a built one of these somewhere, but this is the sealed one that we have in the box. And the reason that this is number two on my all time favorite Lego Star Wars sets list, I absolutely love the exterior details on this ship. I love the sleek body, it's super clean. And I also love the minifigure selection that you get in this ship. I kind of wish that Lego Star Wars would continue to put out UCS sets with like half a dozen minifigures rather than like two like they've done in the Republic gunship or the Venator. So that's kind of why I like the older um, UCS sets. Another super cool detail on this set is the to scale Star Destroyers that you get. So it's crazy when you think about how big a Star Destroyer is and then how big a Super Star Destroyer is. So yeah, that's why it's number two on my favorite Lego Star Wars sets of all time list. Okay, and if you've been watching our content for the last few months, number one on my favorite Lego Star Wars sets list of all time probably does not surprise you, but yes, it is the 2010 UCS Imperial Shuttle. This is set number 10212 and it has 2,503 pieces. There's so many things that I love about this set. One, I love the stand that Lego provided for this set so that you could display what in my opinion is the coolest Star Wars ship, the Imperial Shuttle in flight position. You can also display it in landing position. There's some landing gear that comes with the set that you can build and you can put the wings up so that they fold up and in like that with landing gear on the bottom. I also love the minifigures in this set. You get a shuttle pilot, a Darth Vader, a Luke Skywalker, and a Stormtrooper, so that's super cool. And yeah, I just love how even with just 2,500 pieces, this set is absolutely massive, and I just love the look of it. I think it is the best LEGO Star Wars set display set and overall set of all time. This thing originally retailed for like 250 bucks, and you aren't finding one for under $1,000 right now. So that's why it is number one on my favorite Lego Star Wars sets of all time list. And thank you all for watching this video. We really appreciate it. Please leave a like and please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. We got a bunch of great Lego and Lego Star Wars content coming for you guys on YouTube, on Instagram, and on TikTok. So please check us out on all platforms. 
We appreciate all the support and we will see you guys for the next video. See ya.